Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Hello everyone, this is Madeline Sister again, and me, our TV Tuesday, Tuesday, and student as well. Number five is what? 
the shop and her mom is inside and smiling, right? Yes. Okay. Finish writing? No. Okay. Yes. And yeah. Okay. So the next question is number four. Where do you think the girl is? Oh, we already said that. Outside a shop? Yes. Okay. So number four, we think she is outside a shop. So yeah, why do you think the girl is outside this building? She comes to see mom. She came to see her mom. She came. Okay, number five, six. What do you think the book will be about? The work by chair or her mother. Okay, the girl will buy a chair for her mother. Why do you think that, June? Because title is a for a chair, a chair for her mother. mother. That's a good guess. Okay, I think the show name is the chair for her mother. The shop name is the chair for her mother? So you think the book will be about the shop? Yes. And what do you think, Emma? Oh, I think the mom and the chair story. Mm. The mom and the chair, the, their story together? The girl is the chair. Oh, the mom is the chair store. Ah, okay. So we have three different ideas. So I want you all to write what your idea is. So, June thinks. The girl will buy a chair for her mom. Oh, chair for her mom. Park thinks um, the book will be about the store. This is famous book. Oh, yes. Um, it's famous in Winter Prize. We will talk about this later. Um, it will be about a star, book about a store called A Chair for My Mother. And the last question is, and then Emma's idea, it will be about a chair store. Right? Yes. So write what you think and also tell me why you think. So Okay, the next question is do you think um do you think the story will be funny or serious? Funny. Funny serious. serious. Why funny, Emma? Um, it's funny because it looks funny. Yes. It looks really cool. Okay, so Emma's part said it will be funny. June, why do you think it will be serious? Because the title is uh, serious. Okay. <laughs> okay. Also, June, maybe you read the book. Yes. Okay. It will be funny because the pictures are funny. And June says, it will be serious because of the title.
How many more questions? One more question. Okay. The last question is about one student. I can't remember what student said. This story is famous? Yes, we see this one. This one is the Caldecott Honor Award. Caldecott Medal. So, do you know what this medal is for? Why do you think this medal is on this book? Because this book is good book. It's a good book. Yes. And famous book. It is a famous book. Yeah, so you guys can write that down. You think there is a medal because it is famous. Oh, is that? Yes, number eight. It's famous. After you write it, I will tell you the real reason. Did you read this book? Did I read this book? No, we. Will, will, will we read this book today? Yes. Today, I will read the book all. Um, and then we'll finish the book, and then maybe students will read the beginning of the book. We'll see how much time we have. But I will read the book today, not students. Okay, did everybody finish? Okay, so this award, Kevin the Top Metal, is for good pictures. So this book got this award because of the pictures in the book are very artistic and interesting. And I think the pictures, the people who gave the award say these are very good pictures in the book. So that is what the medal is for. Yes, I think so. Um, okay. So let's now read the book. So everybody open your book to the first page and we will read a chair for my mother. Mm -hmm. Students, while you read this page, there is no page numbers in the book. So please, when you read the book, number the pages. Write the numbers of the page. This one is one, two. Three, four, three, four, yeah. Five, five, six, like that, okay? You already did chart? Your book has page numbers. You did know that? I hear. No? No? This is teacher's book. Teacher's book? Yes. My book? No, no, no. Oh, is Sarah's teacher's book? Yeah. Okay, okay, makes sense. Okay, so, and what in June that means break the page numbers on the book, okay? So everybody go to the first page, I will read the book, okay? So, my mother works as a waitress in the blue tile diner. After school, sometimes I go to meet her there. Then her boss, Josephine, gives me a job too. I wash the salt and peppers and fill the ketchups. One time, I peeled all the onions for the onion soup. When I finish, Josephine said, good work, honey, and pays me. And every time, I put half of my money in the jar. It takes a long time to fill a jar this big. Every day, when my mother comes home from work, I take down the jar. My mama empties all her change from tips out of her purse for me to count. Then we push all of the coins into the jar. Sometimes my mama is laughing when she comes home from work. Sometimes she's so tired she falls asleep while I count the money out into piles. Some days she has lots of tips. Some days she only has a little. Then she looks worried. But each evening, every single shiny coin goes into the jar. We sit in the kitchen to count the tips. Usually Grandma sits with us too. While we count, she likes to hum. Often she has money in her old leather wallet for us. Whenever she gets a good bargain on something, or on tomatoes or bananas or something she buys, she puts by the savings and they go into the jar. When we can't get out a single other coin into the jar, we are going to take out all the money and go buy a chair. Yes, a chair. A wonderful, beautiful, fat, soft armchair. We will get one covered in red velvet with roses all over it. We are going to get the best chair in the whole world. That is because all our chairs, all our old chairs, burnt up. 
There was a big fire in our other house. All our chairs burned. So did our sofa, and so did everything else. That wasn't such a long time ago. Next page. My mother and I were coming home from buying new shoes. I had the hand of sandals. She had the pumps. We were walking to our house from the bus. We were looking at everyone's tulips. She was saying she liked red tulips, and I was saying I liked yellow ones. Then we came to our box. Right outside our house stood two big fire engines. I could see lots of smoke. Tall orange flames came out of the roof. All the neighbors stood in a bunch across the street. Mama grabbed my hand and I ran. And we ran. My Uncle Sandy saw us and ran to us. Mama yelled, where's my mother? I yelled, where's my grandma? My Aunt Ida waved and shouted, she's here, she's here, she's okay, don't worry. Grandma was all right. Our cat was safe too, though it took a while to find her. But everything else in our whole house was spoiled. What was left of the house was turned to charcoal and ashes. We went to stay with my mother's sister, Aunt Ida, and Uncle Sandy. Then we were able to move into the apartment downstairs. We painted the walls yellow. The floors were all shiny, but the rooms were very empty. Next page. The first day we moved in, the neighbors brought pizza and cake and ice cream, and they brought a lot of other things, too. The family across the street brought a table and three kitchen chairs. The very old man next door gave us a bed from when his children were little. My other grandpa brought us his beautiful rug. My mother's sister, old other sister, Sally, had made us red and white curtains. Mama's boss, Josephine, brought pots and pans, silverware, and dishes. My cousin brought me her own stuffed bear. Everyone clapped when my grandma made a speech. You are all the kindest people, she said, and we thank you very, very much. It's lucky we are young and can start all over. That was last year. But we still have no sofa and no big chairs. When Mama comes home, her feet hurt. There's no good place for me to take a load off my feet, she says. When Grandma wants to sit back and hum and cut up potatoes, she has to get as comfortable as she can on the hard kitchen chair. So that is how when Mama brought home the biggest jar she could find at the diner, and all the coins started to go into the jar. Now the jar is too heavy for me to lift down. Uncle Sandy gave me a quarter. He had to boost me up so I could put it in. After supper, Mama and Grandma and I stood in front of the jar. Well, I never would have believed it, but I guess it's full, Mama said. My brother brought home little paper wrappers for all the nickels and the dimes and the quarters. I counted them all out and wrapped them all up. On my mother's day off, we took all the coins to the bank. The bank exchanged them for $10 bills. Then we took the bus downtown to shop for our chair. We shopped through four furniture stores. We tried out big chairs and smaller ones, high chairs and low chairs, soft chairs and harder ones. Grandma said she felt like Goldilocks and the three bears trying out all the chairs. Finally, we found the chair we were dreaming of, and the money in the jar was enough to pay for it. We called Aunt Ida and Uncle Sandy. They came right down in their pickup truck to drive the chair home for us. They knew we couldn't wait for it to be delivered. I tried out our chair in the back of the truck. Mama wouldn't let me sit there while we drove, but they let me sit in it while they carried it up to the door. Last page. We sat, we set the chair right beside the window and put the red and white curtains. Grandma and Mama and I all sat in it while Aunt Ida took our picture. Now, Grandma sits in it and talks with people going by in the daytime. Mama sits down and watches the news on TV when she comes home from her job. After supper, I sit with her and she can reach right up and turn off the light if I fall asleep. 
question. Look at this page, this picture. How does the picture show that mom is tired? She's sleeping on the chair. She is sleeping in the chair. In the chair or in the chair? Um, in the chair is better, but on the chair is also okay. At the chair is no good, but in and on are both okay. Are you sleeping or mom is sleeping? What? You are sleeping or the mom in the book is sleeping? Me. You are sleeping? Who is mom? Mom is also sleeping, yes. <laughs> okay, so in this picture, who we see? The mom. Who is this? The girl. The little girl. And who is this other one? The mom. The mom. It is the grandmother. So number nine, the other woman is the grandmother. She is the girl's grandmother. Yes. So at this page, it also says grandma sometimes puts money in the jar. Where does grandma get money for the jar? She doesn't have a job. What does it say? Right, you look too, June. Everyone look. How does grandma get money for the jar? What page? Um, page six. What I mean, for she a little good and food tomatoes and bananas. Yeah, so she gets the bar bargain. So you guys know what a bargain is? Bargain is the same with sale. Yeah, so tomatoes are normally, maybe they are normally five dollars, but today tomatoes are only two dollars. Oh, yeah, so that yeah, is the bargain. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Wow. I don't like tomatoes. I like little tomatoes. I love tomatoes. tomatoes. You like cherry tomatoes? Small ones? Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like tomatoes. I like tomatoes. I like tomatoes, but I am with you. My favorite are small tomatoes. I'm going to eat them these. If it gets your mouth messy? Um, yeah. yeah, maybe. Um, okay, so mom, grandma gets money for the jar, she will buy tomatoes on sale. So she she would have extra money from bargains and sales. Is that a good thing? No, good thing. Because test is very different. Oh, yeah. Everyone tells me, right, these days school has very many tests. I feel bad for you. Tests, I think, are never fun. So I'm sorry, students. Question number 11 is going to be, what did the family want to do? What did they plan to do when the jar was full of coins? They will buy a chair. They will buy a chair. Why a chair for my mother, not a chair for my grandmother? Because the mother is the one who is tired from working a lot. Two boy. Hmm? Two boy. Thank you. They were going to buy by a chair. No, they were just going to buy a chair. They don't need to buy by. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye, 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 chair. <laughs> Bye.
Okay. The last question is what happened? What had happened to all of their old chairs? They burned. Yes. And what? Mm -hmm. Their old chairs burned. Write 
Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town.